This is Steve. This is Bob. This is Jay. And we are Alpha Quadrant 6, a science fiction review show. And in this episode, we are going to be talking about a reimagining of the original lightsaber duel between Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader from Star Wars 4, A New Hope. You guys have, I know, seen this many, many times. Oh my God. And right out of the gate, I'll just say, it was amazing. I mean, I did, actually didn't know that the state of the art was such that anybody could pull that off. Yeah, well, the, the computer graphics, you could see that they use computer graphics, yeah. of course, because yeah. it has to be. Um, yeah, so they're grabbing um, a full rendering of Darth Vader. They're, they're taking um, Obi-Wan's face, mm -hmm. and I'm sure they digitized it and, and put it in there. But there's, they're using real footage from the movie, of course, yeah. too, so they, they cut it in. So in essence, what we're seeing is the entire fight between Darth Vader and Obi-Wan and also what's happening to Luke, Leia, Han, and Chewie as they're trying to get to the ship. Although condensed. It's, they didn't want to spend too much time on that part of it. But Exactly. Yeah, and this but, is done and, but by... Not just, we, we should say this is done by uh, Fix It In Post is the YouTube channel. Christopher Clements, and it's not yeah. just anybody. I mean, this is this, this is over a decade of visual effects expertise mm -hmm. and experience. This guy clearly knows what he's doing. I mean, it, it was such a beautiful, a beautiful video. Um, but I remember... We see vi uh, viral videos all the time, and they're great, but this one, I was like, I gotta tell everybody. I wanted yeah. to tell everybody about this. I posted mm -hmm. it, I, I emailed, and I remember watching that, the first fight in 77. Mm -hmm. Guys, we were together yeah. in 1977, and that fight was great between Darth and, uh, and Obi-Wan. Although I do remember, even at the time, my memory is, really? I thought it was a little lame. I was a little disappointed. Because okay. yes, it was, a dark, it was a lightsaber fight, and the that first, was great. The but first lightsaber the very, fight ever. Yeah, but still, I'm like, really? That was all they could do? It was, it was really not very well choreographed. They weren't, they weren't very athletic. Uh, they looked like two old men fighting. You and know. It, it was very much a, a technical problem, too, you know, at the yeah. time when they were shooting it. The lightsabers were breaking. Yeah. The sticks were breaking. You know, the, the mechanism, they had cables attached to them underneath their clothing to light them up and things like that that were real hindrance. There was that one scene where Obi-Wan's lightsaber sort of flickers out a little bit. Yeah. Well, no, you know what it was is it actually was pointing straight at the camera. Mm -hmm. So you didn't, weren't getting a, a, a shot of the blade, mm -hmm. which I was shocked when uh, Lucas went back and, and redid they didn't it. Fix it. They didn't fix that effect. So this is the, the, <laughs> right. real, the real thrust here for me, and it goes right back to Lucas. So Lucas did reimagine his original mm -hmm. movies and you know this is what I wanted them to be you know he's adding in uh, images of creatures he's adding in um, you know scenes where people are celebrating more and you know mm -hmm. with the Ewoks he did a ton of stuff you know tons of changes. Some of it was good some of it was crap. Changing yeah. the color of the sky doing all sorts of stuff. Um, Shooting second. Adding first, in second, <laughs> more stormtroopers in certain scenes. Yeah. But the things that Lucas didn't do in my opinion was he didn't tell the story better, right? Because what happened is we have movies four, five, and six came out. And the, in my opinion, like the, you know, Empire was my favorite of the, the original yeah, three. Yeah, sure. Um, but they all did it. They all did a great job. They're fantastic movies. They're standalone movies as well. But, mm -hmm. they're, they, you know, they're aged. To, and, you know, reimagining something from those films is, it should modernize it to a certain degree. But what, what happened when I saw this video of Vader and Obi-Wan was that I realized that there's so much more yes. that could be done. Yeah. That Lucas really didn't have the, that vision. He, did, he didn't sit there and go, hey, maybe I should redo that fight between them because it doesn't fit anymore because everything else that we did kills it. Yeah, so there's three things I think happening, right? So one is the technology itself is advancing. Two, the mythology is evolving. So what... Uh, what was a lightsaber fight when movie four came out? That was it. That was a lightsaber fight. Yeah. But yeah, but the the ability, the power, the prowess of the Jedi and the Sith, our concept of that has evolved over sure. over these movies, um, and also the story has been backfilled in. So we have more story. We have the mythology has evolved, and we have more technology. And so I think uh, that reimagined lightsaber fight hit it out of the park because it improved. All three. It's right. like this is what that fight scene should have been if we look back on it with our with our modern eyes, with you know the complete you know Star Wars uh, movies. Like for example, you have Rogue One, mm -hmm. right? The that the uh, that scene with Darth Vader at the end of Rogue One was arguably Darth Vader at his most badass, right? right. I and mean, that was just yeah. incredible. That was the yep. best part of the whole it was, movie. It was very similar to to this exactly. To this video exactly. And you go from that, so that was really just 
days ago. No, it wasn't. It was or, or like one or two, like one day ago. Yeah, or something. I mean, the, the joke is we don't know how much time is going by in movie four. Yeah, you know, it could be hours, it could be a few days. It's, it's, it's definitely less than a week. It's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's very, very short amount of time. That's basically the exact same time as the fight between Obi Wan. Um, and right. So, the, so Darth Vader become a lot less badass well, of in, course, in a couple of days. No, of course not. So yeah. this is like this is what that fight should have been yeah. in continuity with all the other movies and with how powerful we know them to be now. But well, of course, and if you look at if you look at a lot of the later the later movies, even the very next movie, um, the, the you know the, the saber battles were better, and mm. especially once you got to the prequels, it, the, you know they, those prequels had many problems. But even even Lucas himself realized that th these these are Jedi at their in their in the heyday. Yeah. They so he really upped the game, and, and the battles were the lightsaber duels the were, light, were much better. The lightsaber fight with Darth Maul was really very, good. Very was good. Fight. Very good. I haven't seen it in a while, but I still. Still remember, I remember it yeah. vividly. If anything, I think they overdid it with the lightsaber fights. They were too, you know, blah, 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 you know, it was like way too much swinging of the lightsaber nonsense yeah. and backflips and everything. Like I like, I the fight between Darth Vader and Obi Wan in this shot is great because every movement is necessary. Right, it isn't flashy. It's you know, Darth right. Vader. You know, mm -hmm. the you know pu pulls a lightsaber to himself. He throws objects at uh, at Obi Wan. Why is that good? Because we know that he does that in movie five. We know five. he can right. do it. He, yeah, right. But not just that, Jay. You also have the lightsaber interacting with the environment in that one narrow corridor. Oh yeah, cutting you, the corridor. Come wall on, up. Yeah. that's exactly something that would happen, and it's something that doesn't happen with like a, a metal a metal sword. Or it, even, and this is something I remember being bothered about when I was thirteen years old. What? When Darth Vader cuts through Obi. One, he doesn't cut his clothing in half. Yeah, like it goes yeah. through the clothing, and that was just a t special effect, you know, limitation. Right. But they fixed that in this in the reimagined version. But even right, even, and it, but it, it adds a visceral realness to the it whole does. thing. Even the boxes that were flying through the yeah. air as Obi Wan sliced them, they, their edges were glowing very yeah, brightly. Yeah. Something that's even different, better than it looked even previously in the, in the second movie. Yeah, yeah. And the other, and, and the most badass thing that Vader does is when he force pushes Obi Wan against yes, the wall, yes. and then he. Uses the light, then he was going to cut his head off by pulling the lightsaber to the right across through, you know, fr while it was stuck in the wall. Right. I thought that w why that was important was it shows just how visceral Vader is. You know, he starts the battle with unbelievable power. You know, you get this sense of power from him. You know, mm -hmm. you know that the, the, the dark side of the force is just blowing out of him, which is awesome. But also the dialogue, and you can hear what they're hearing inside their heads. You know, they're, they're, we're hearkening yeah. back. To, hark, hark. You know, we're, we're going back to yeah. movie three when they had their, their first battle. And, you know, you hear, yeah. hear Obi-Wan saying, you were supposed to fix the Force. Not, yeah, you not, were my brother. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's what they're thinking about. As yeah, so there's, there's the, sort of the storytelling continuity yeah. that we can sort of retcon as well. But so what, I think we all had the same reaction when we saw this. Like, so first of all, it's incredible. You have to watch it. But also, we're like... Damn, they have to do this to all the movies uh, now. Yes, right. At to least all to, of the movies. Yeah, well, meaning one, all parts of every movie, like anything yeah. where you, you think you could you could one up. Of course, anything to do with the lightsaber fights. I mean, what would the lightsaber fight between Vader and Luke be like in, in the Empire Strikes Back on the cloud? Right. Mm. On Cloud City. Or Return well, of the Jedi. But th think about that yeah. though, because Vader didn't want to kill Luke then, in mm. my opinion. I, I think no. he was punishing him. He was like trying to pull him down and, yeah. And, yeah. and corrupt him, but he wasn't trying to kill him. So he was holding back, but Luke was going for it. And I liked the fight a lot. It's a good fight, but it, it could be a little more mm -hmm. harsh. You know, Darth Vader could have pulled things on Luke that were a little more, you know, hard to look at because Darth Vader is, you know, unbelievably corrupted and evil, which we don't really see. We don't really see how evil Darth Vader is. He he almost fell yeah, completely I mean, down. But you get that in like what in Empire Strikes Back. I think Darth Vader was at his most evil. Yeah, you know, but he, I think he should have even been worse because yeah. I mean, he was he was more he, eviler. Yeah, but he was corrupted <laughs> by by Lord Sidious, man. I yeah. mean, he, yeah. okay. So there's a scene when when Darth Vader becomes Darth Vader. They're putting on the costume. On yeah, him, they're putting on his mechanical suit. They're rep repairing limbs and everything. And the table comes up. And then the first thing that, that Anakin says is, what happened to Padme? And uh, the, the Emperor lies to him and says um, that you killed her in rage when you were freaking out. Mm -hmm. That's not the truth. She died in childbirth. Mm -hmm. But that was the last brushstroke in, in uh, the Emperor's corruption of Anakin. Mm -hmm. Anakin becomes Vader in that moment. He freaks well, out. He blows everything up. He, 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 he completes the transition. He completes his transition. That's when he really becomes Darth Vader. 
Then fast forward now to when, when the emperor is killing Luke, he's, and he's giving him the lightning bolts, mm -hmm. right? And Luke is pleading with him, plead, you know, father, father, you know? And what's going on in Vader's mind at that point is, he realizes that, I think he knew that he, the emperor killed Padme, that was part of it, because he's now gonna kill his son. This guy, the emperor, has destroyed everything that he loves. Mm -hmm. And he sacrifices himself, not to become a, a Jedi again and all that, to save Luke. It was all for Luke. Sure. And he throws him down, then his suit gets fried, and then when, once he shuns the dark side, he also loses the fact that the dark side was one of the things that was keeping him alive, and that's why Vader died. But those two, yeah. those two scenes I described are married with each other. And the cool th a part of it that they got in this fight between Obi-Wan and Vader is that Vader really was a dark entity. Like, he was sure. evil beyond evil. He was second in command of the Empire. He was it, man. He killed kids. Yeah, he did. He killed kids. Little, little Jedi kids. So I, I love that they, they exercised, like, just how evil he is. We got it in, uh, like, you, like you said, in Rogue One, we see it too. Like, yeah. he's just, he is on a mission. Like, you get the sense, this guy doesn't sleep, he doesn't eat. He's just going all the time. And I love that part because it... The deeper he goes, the more amazing it is that, he, that Luke pulls him out. And at the mm -hmm. end, he says, tell, tell your sister, you were right. You know, yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. my God. It's so it's so. All right, awesome. so you know, how much um, would you like to see this kind of treatment applied to, say, the first three movies, for example? So I, you know, I know a lot of people think that the first three, first a lot of problems with one, two, and three. Yeah. And some people think they should just be scrapped. I don't know. I think they could be salvaged, you know, if with really creative re-editing mm -hmm. and it, with that level of being able to manipulate you know, what we're seeing right. that tells me yeah if you really wanted to do it you could rescue those three movies that's a masterful piece of, of yeah. video, video video editing that clements did there i mean think about it i mean mm -hmm. you know, I, they, I hope they hire that guy because that because <laughs> it's not only did he did, did, did he make it cooler but every like you said jay not a s second is wasted yeah and his ideas and how he choreographed who i mean who did who did the right and choreographing it's, himself, it was amazing it's choreography. It's all firing on all cylinders. Oh it God. wasn't just the choreography and the digital execution. Like, they had to sit down and map this yes. out. Yes. They, mm. wrote, they, they wrote it out. They, they were, probably choreographed. Yeah, they knew like, everything. Like us holding these sabers. They were, they were actually going through every scene mm. and saying, let's do that, let's do that. Beautiful. I wanted, but I'd love the, to it, have been there and see that. It's the undercurrent of storytelling that makes it ten times more impactful, though. Yeah, like well, now it, we're looking at it from the eyes of somebody who knows the whole art. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But at the time, of course, you know, we didn't. So that's, this is master work. Mm -hmm. You know, if they had more money, they could have made it where you didn't even know it was CG. You know, like it would just be seamless. Mm -hmm. I think that you know. It, 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 Disney the, should hire these guys, throw lots of money at them, and I think, you know, I think that the the first three movies are kind of a stain on the Star Wars franchise, and if they cleaned that stain up, people would eat it up. I think. I think yes. it, yeah. It would, that's true. It would be worth it. I would vote for them to redo movies one, two, and three for a lot of reasons. One, because I think that the first movie should just be... Seeing Darth Vader as a child was pointless. Mm -hmm. they, you know, they, at, we should have seen him maybe right before he, he became a... You know, a Padawan? Yeah, more like a teenager. You know, he, he was yeah. too adorable. Like, the actor they picked was too adorable. They, went, too they did that deliberate. That was for the irony. Oh, look, Darth Vader's an adorable yeah, little like, kid. You, know? you want to get him when yeah. he's a teenager, when he's already much. got angst. And, Pimples and all that stuff. Well, yeah, but, you know, and Steve, you and I have talked about this, you know, exhausted the ideas. Like, they could get rid of most of movie one and condense movies two and three pretty much. Mm -hmm. You know, and then I think we would end up with, with, there's a lot of good footage there, you know. Like, there's a lot of things that went wrong because the editing wasn't in my opinion, wasn't good. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we can get rid of a lot of, a lot of the chaff, you know? Because that's the thing, the editing was poor. That's an argument for re-editing. Mm -hmm. Right. You know? like I don't know how much first. raw footage they still have you know, in the can that they could I bet into. none, because almost every single thing in that movie was digitized. You guys have seen the Phantom edit. Of course. Right? Yeah. yeah. That did what you are just talking about. Yeah, they've about. done it. They started, they just used a little bit at the end of movie one, and they condensed two and three into one movie. So and I liked it. It one. was good. I liked it, too. They got rid of all the crap. Yeah. Uh, but... Yeah, you know, I, th I, th I would like to not just chop up the movies, but like reproduce Retool them. Retool the whole Retool thing. Retool them. Re Redo the music, get, you know, redub yeah, it. Can we talk about the music for a second? Do you remember watching movies one, two, and three, and you're going, Where, where's, where's the, the music? Where's the Star Wars music? Yeah. Where's all yeah. the themes that I already know? Like, yeah. I get, like, okay. They blew it with the music. Princess Leia doesn't exist right now, so you can't play her theme, but you could play all the other general themes that, that were brought up yeah. but they, they you know then they had like the, the sing-songy thing going throughout the, the whole 
time in the three movies, I really got turned off by that. The, the scores were terrible. Terrible. And you realize how important the score was, like the four, five, and six, like when the when Luke and Darth Vader are fighting in Revenge of the Dead Jedi, and the the music comes up, it totally grips you. And there was not a single moment like that in the first three movies. Yeah. Yep. All right, they we're off on a, we're it. off on a tangent here. What if they <laughs> what if they redid four, five, and six in CG, mm -hmm. pure CG, but with but, but with a level of what Clemens did. In terms of upgrading and enhancing, why would you do pure CG? You could yeah. use a lot of the. You could of use the, the original footage and up, upgrade it. You know, just enhance the environments and and, and all that. I mean, sure. It, 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 you know, I think that I pay the, good money for all of that. The yeah. acting that we got in movies four, five, and six, like I like that act. Mm -hmm. The acting, I know that part of it is a little corny and a little hokey or whatever, but that to me is part of the genre. It's, it is because we are going back to the sci-fi films from the forties and fifties. You know that's that's where that's the roots of Star Wars. That's that's the kind of thing we're yeah. watching a space opera. You know, they're, they're, it's really not hard science fiction at all. It's it's more no, fantasy it's space than fantasy. it is. So I agree. I agree. I'll take. How about this? Uh, let me generalize. I'll take any Star Wars film that's made with that level of love and care. Mm -hmm. I don't. Two and, feel, and a half years. You know, two and a half years to make that six minute, six yeah. or seven minute. Yeah, but video. I doubt they yeah, were with doing the it resources full time. that they had. Right. Yeah. But still, this is a this is a labor of love. These mm -hmm. guys. Uh, this the main guy Clements. But I mean, Bob, every movie life. needs to be a labor of love. True, I true. didn't get that impression from any of the new Star Wars, the, the first two Star Wars movies. I liked Rogue One, but even yeah. you know the Solo movie, everything was just meh. Eh, you know, okay, I I sat through it, but I wasn't like, oh my god, you know, like they really. They're, they're disappointing. Only Rogue One was not disappointing. Yeah. Rogue One's the only one that I've seen twice. Yeah, I mean, I'll watch the other ones again, but I don't have a you know, immediate Drive desire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and then, but I watched Star Wars four, five, and six oh like god. three, four times a year. You know, yeah. they're on in the background of my life. You know, like th that's how good they are. But the the new movies do, don't capture. You don't you don't get a sense of Star Wars to me. It, it looks like it. It's got the patina of Star Wars, but it didn't capture the soul of Star Wars at all. So watch this, guys. You got to go out, watch it, examine it, listen to what we said, and see if you came up with anything else that we missed. You know, you can contact us on Facebook. That's facebook.com forward slash Alpha Quadrant. The number six. You can go to alphaquadrant6.com if you want to contact us. Um, tell us what you think. We really want to hear what you have to say about the Star Wars films and about this particular uh, fan fiction. Would you call this a fan fiction? Yeah. yeah. It, it's, it's the best fan fiction I've ever seen. I think so. I think we all agree this was awesome. Yeah. Did you, we want more of it. Did you ever see the, the, it was an early fan fiction where they were pretending it was a TV show Cops? You ever see this? Where mm -hmm. the, so the, the cops are the stormtroopers. Okay. And they're playing, you know, the music to the to, to the show cops. You know, because it was like yeah, it's yeah. real it was supposed to be real footage and like the Jawers are the bad guys. Uh-huh, it's your cousins. Is this your cousin? Is this your cousin? Are you his cousin? No? Okay, then who are you? Ah, oh, you're his friend. Well, Mr. Friend, would you uh step over there for a moment, please?